What is the king's gambit? Well, it happens after e4, e5, f4. And the idea of this opening is that we are sacrificing a pawn, but on the other hand, we are able to get a good control over the center, now that the e5 pawn is out of the way. After g5, for example, there are some fun lines with h4, which can lead to very sharp play, where we try to use our lead in development and central control uh, to our advantage. There are also a lot of other moves, of course, that black can play, but our general idea will be that in many cases, we're going to play d4, taking over the center. And if we are able to take this pawn, let's say, with something like knight f6, knight c3, this is really white's dream position to have the complete domination over the center, yeah? And if black decides to decline the gambit with, let's say, a move such as d6, well, we can just play knight f3, knight c3, go for a natural development, and that will give us a nice advantage. Good luck playing king's gambit in your own games. Make sure to subscribe, and catch you later.